If you're in the process of quitting smoking weed, I'm here to share with you today a few things that you should strongly consider before you finally make that decision to stop. If you're new to the channel, my name's Dr. Frank. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs. And if you enjoy the content in today's video, be sure to check out the pinned comment or the video description to learn more about our free and paid addiction recovery coaching resources. When I quit smoking weed for the first few times that I tried to quit, I struggled. I struggled a lot. And I think part of that had to do with the fact that I am not a quitter. Uh, quitting, generally speaking, is associated with fairly negative connotations. Uh, I think of someone playing in a sporting event. They look like they're going to lose, and then the sports team throws in the towel before they actually suffer the loss. I consider that quitting. Uh, I consider quitting someone running a marathon, getting halfway through, and then saying, this challenge is too great. I didn't train enough for this. I quit. I give up. Quitting to me is associated or affiliated with giving up. And I think this is what, as a society, we tend to affiliate the idea of quitting something with. I'm here today to tell you guys, and this is going to be shocking for a lot of people on my channel, I didn't actually quit smoking weed despite the fact that I chose to stop smoking weed. And these are two very, very, very different things. By choosing to stop smoking weed, I quit a series of things. I quit wasting my time. I quit procrastinating. I quit investing my money into something that was giving me nothing in return. I quit waiting around on my plug, right? Being from New York, we didn't have legal cannabis when I stopped. I quit wasting my physical health. I quit wasting my, phys my mental health. I quit a lot of things, but I didn't quit smoking weed. What I actually did by choosing to stop smoking weed, by making that decision to put weed aside is I pursued a bunch of other opportunities that life has to offer. I pursued my relationships. I pursued my business career. I pursued my finances. I pursued my mental health and I pursued my physical health. And I continue the pursuit of new opportunities every single day throughout this quitting or recovery process that I've been on. I quit drugs. I quit drinking. I quit smoking. The only thing that you quit was all of the negative things that brought you to making the decision to stop partaking in that activity in the first place. I didn't give up anything, and that's why I didn't quote-unquote quit smoking weed. I chose to pursue everything. I didn't give up anything. I chose to pursue everything. And I mean, I pursue stuff relentlessly. I pursue my job relentlessly. I pursue my family and my career relentlessly. I pursue my physical health relentlessly. I pursue my mental health relentlessly. I would actually phrase it like this. When I was stuck in addiction, when it got bad, I'm not saying during the fun times. I'm not saying during the, the good times because there were good times. There were times that I had fun with smoking weed, okay? But there came a point where I was quitting on my career, where I was smoking weed every day, where I was quitting on my physical health, where I was smoking weed every day, where I was quitting on my finances, where I was quitting on landing that, that relationship that I was hoping to eventually be in one day. I actually look back and I view continuing to smoke as quitting. I was quitting on my goals. I was quitting on my motivations. I was quitting on the time that's allotted to me in this world to accomplish things. I would argue, no, I never actually quit smoking weed. I made a decision to stop doing something that was no longer benefiting me so I could pursue all the other opportunities that are available to me. And I'll encourage you this. If you have stopped smoking weed and you are having a hard time, you didn't come as far as you have just to stop here. Uh, if quitting weed, quote unquote, was all about quitting and that was the end goal for me, 
I never would have, quote unquote, quit smoking weed. I never would have made that decision to stop smoking weed. In my opinion, there is nothing particularly sexy or exciting about quitting weed, especially if you have had good times with it, but now things have become tumultuous or whatever the word is. You didn't quit just to quit. You didn't come this far just to come this far. So it was in quitting weed that I sought to pursue a series of other things over the time period that I have spent in my decision to stop smoking, right? I decided to pursue new things in physical health and fitness. I decided to pursue new things in my nutrition. I decided to pursue new things in my relationships. I decided to pursue new things in my businesses, in my finances. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm not going to take the time to go through withdrawal symptoms and cravings and temptations, and I'm not going to go through everything that I went through in addiction just to give something up because that's not exciting, right? That's not fun. That's not something that I'm going to commit to. But I will make sacrifice. I will go through struggle. I will go through challenging times to pursue something that's truly rewarding, something that truly gives me a return on my investment. That's what I will do. And that's what, to me, choosing to stop smoking weed is all about. And you can apply this mentality to alcohol, to cigarettes, to nicotine products. You can apply this to pills. You can apply this to anything. If you are making the decision to stop smoking weed, choose to stop smoking weed, but don't quit because quitting sucks. Quitting is for quitters, period, okay? But making a decision to accept the challenge, to push through, to push yourself harder, to try more, to, to, to use determination, to use grit, to exercise discipline, all the things that quitting, quote unquote, involves has nothing to do with quitting. That's the exact opposite characteristics of a quitter. So realize You're not quitting anything. You are making a decision to better your life. And that's something, and those are characteristics that you're going to develop that I think you could get super excited about. At least I know for me, I did. Now, if you like how I've reframed this concept of quitting into making a decision to quit, something that gives you the control, that puts the power in your hands, right? Check out the pinned comment, check out the video description to learn more about our one-on-one coaching programs, or subscribe. 75% of people who watch our content are not subscribed, and I put out motivational stuff like this every week to help you guys out who are struggling with nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content addictions, things that I once struggled with. 